All right, hey guys, we're back. Hole six, par five, new hole. And we're gonna give you guys another perspective here. Another wind angle to kind of focus on. Uh, the funniest spot is, what? why is that fairway there? <laughs> Out in the middle of no man's land. That's the funniest, funniest thing about this hole. Is that fairway that's just out there in the middle not really sure why that one's there uh, for the most part you know we're going to sneak around to the right here we're going to use um, katanas when we can but aside from that you know we're going to play smart and uh, put on kingmakers otherwise uh, i really do highly recommend those two balls for this tour um, with the new redesign so you know the two of the new par threes are going to be really favorable to have a little bit extra power um, in case you need them. So, um, you know, one of the things that I want to encourage you guys is probably to stock up on your katanas as it's going to be a very useful ball for this tour. Now, we are going to try to focus on this as our landing zone, so I'm going to try to put it out kind of five rings over, and what I'm going to focus on doing is just kind of max curling it back to kind of counter that wind um, and what this is going to do is it's going to get you to come in at a better angle to where that second hop and first hop you know is away from the rough it's going to give you a nice really good angle to keep you out of that rough and you know hitting more accurate drives for this hole if you go in the rough on this tee shot it is probably going to cost you the win so that's one of the biggest things that I want you guys to concentrate is putting the ball in play. As you can see, my opponent here um, really got bailed out. I mean, just imagine any other wind. This just kind of just goes to show you, 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 you just cannot do basic ball on this hole. Um, but as you can see, you know, my opponent here getting very bailed out. Probably has to back off a little. I wouldn't go full. And that looks pretty good, maybe. I'm not even sure I'd have enough guts to actually use that much. But it was pretty good. <clears throat> but what I'm going to suggest that you guys do is definitely this rough bump. And you can see, you know, we're going to start our aim at, a, at kind of a high elevation and move it to a lower. So with that being said, you need to make sure that you do some kind of under adjustment. Also, you need to kind of anticipate the way that the ball is going to bounce. So here you can see me pu purposely putting it out to the right and short of the hole because I'm trying to anticipate how it's going to spring forward. Now, we're not quite at max. So we need to do a little bit of an underplay. So I might try to go maybe five and a half, six rings. Not even quite six rings here for this adjustment. Ah, didn't want the great ball. You know, it's not going to be the end of the world, but... Uh, you know, it is going to shoot it out to the left, not give me any real chance at the hole out, especially with, you know, solid ring play. Um, so that's what you want to focus on. And, you know, hopefully you guys can develop a good technique for this hole and just be sound with your adjustments. Be smart. Um, if you're at mid club, you know, especially with mine, you know, I have to cheat the adjustment in just a tiny bit because I'm moving the ball down to a lower elevation than where my landing point is so it's not going to quite carry as far when you do that so keep that tip in mind and catch you guys on the next one